your things knew when you were home? What if I told you that this everyday house lamp could be part of the Internet of Things? Welcome to Electropi. The Electropi is an open source alternative to expensive home automation systems on the market like Wemo, Sky, and Iris. What sets my system apart is that it will talk to any brand of radio controlled switches like these. Twenty to thirty dollars will get you three of these on Amazon. Let me show you how it works. The board uses a 315 or 433 megahertz transmitter with an onboard 12 volt boost converter to transmit the binary control codes required for these remote switches. The codes are transmitted via one of two antenna types, a dedicated copper coil or an SMA connector that allows you to add any duck, whip, or custom antenna you'd like. Now while this board makes for some really strong and clean transmissions, you have to know what to broadcast for any of these switches to work. So let me show you the software. Available for free download is an open source web server I've written for the board that communicates with a Python and C backend. It has a boatload of home automation goodies, one of which is the user contributed preset database, which contains everything the Pi needs to know to talk to any of these wireless switches. Let's take a quick tour. Down here I'll click add switch and I'll nickname it lamp. We'll keep it simple. Now I have the option for a custom code or a preset code. In this case we'll be doing a preset and in this case we'll be using the Woods 13569 switches. Channel D, sub channel 1. Now here it will give you the chance to test it out. I'll turn it off and then on. There's my lamp and it works. If it doesn't I can click try harder and it will send the code more times for redundancy and it's ready for control. It's added to the home screen here, and there it is, down as lamp, and I can turn it on and off from any device. Other home automation systems in the market are closed source, expensive, and they're not always cross compatible between every platform. I hope to solve all three of those issues. My hardware and my software are open source. My web server will run on any modern browser, and you can get your hands on an Electrify add on board for only $25. Let me know how you like it and power on everybody.